come across a really intriguing verse or two. Listen to this. If another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to him, you've gained, regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others with you, so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Oh dear, there's so much that here I don't know where to start. Well, let's start with the word church. Um, ecclesia, it's, t it's called, and it really means assembly. But that's what the Christians used to call their group when they grouped together, when they were a church, after Jesus had died. And yet this is Jesus talking as if the church already exists, but it can't have existed until after his death and his supposed resurrection. Ah, uh, so I think we're back here thinking this was not said by Jesus. This is written by somebody much later, you know, years after his death, when the church was up and running, and they're talking about how to behave if you're a member of the church. And this is, you know, there, there are several instances I've already talked about uh, where we can see that what's in Matthew's Gospel actually couldn't have been spoken by Jesus. Uh, but this is the clearest I've come across. Well, now that's the first thing to talk about. But there's one or two other things as well. I mean, what's this weird bit here about if somebody won't listen to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Well, now... Um, Matthew stroke Levi, who is supposed to have written this gospel, was a tax collector. So why is he slagging off tax collectors? I mean, that's a bit bizarre. And it says, let him to be as a Gentile. But if Jesus had come to save the whole world, then he had come to save Gentiles as well as Jews. But no, this is, a, he is obviously coming only for Jews. Ooh. Gosh, this is really strange stuff, isn't it, when you think about it? So we've got two different things. First, we've got a passage which actually was obviously written long after Jesus has died. Secondly, we've got a group of Christians who actually are Jewish and are rejecting Gentiles and tax collectors and other people who work with the Romans. So we can see here clearly the division in the early church. Paul and people like him were preaching to the Gentiles... Uh, but whoever wrote Matthew's Gospel and people like him were preaching only to Jews and saying this is a Jewish organisation. Well, what a surprise. The thing that you're liable to read in the Bible, it ain't necessarily.